two things about this video. One, I do something really dangerous and I don't want anybody to even try to recreate it. And two, this video is sponsored by Transformer Rails, but I'll talk about them in a few. Okay, so apparently my friend Elijah doesn't like to go to Santa Paula Skate Park just because of the homeless people that hang around there. Seems a little fucked up. I'm gonna go see what that's all about. That's good. So what's this I hear about you don't like Santa Paula Skate Park? Oh, there's just a bunch of like homeless people, tweakers. I think you're homeless phobic. Homeless phobic? That's a thing? It is now, it's 2021. <laughs> you gonna get canceled. Fake ass homie, he didn't even grab his board. <laughs> How the fuck did I just find out Nick can finger flu? <laughs> no fucking way. Like I never see you do like weird tricks. Like you always do like the stylish ass ones. Oh, fuck yeah. That was so good. Is that your first time doing that trick or what? Ever. It kind of looked late. Like it looked like I grabbed it for a second and then did it on the way down. Or maybe I'm just hyping myself up too much. The other day I learned switch hard flip front side revert and now somehow I just pulled a nollie one out of my ass. So I have my flatbar right here with me in the car and I want to take it out to LA for a little session but the only thing is the spot that I want to put it on top of, there's a big ass drop on the side and if anything goes wrong and I fall off, I could literally die. A lot of you guys are probably wondering why I'm about to go try this and I honestly don't really have a good answer for you guys. The idea just popped in my head a couple months back and I've been tempted to try it ever since. I'm just hoping everything goes as planned. I'm going to run this idea by my homie Angel who's coming with me and see what he thinks about it. So you see this rail in the back? Yeah. I'm going to see how far I can shove it on my ass. I'm going to go put it here. Remember this spot? Oh shit, Try I think to... I remember you told me about that. Oh, I'm I did tell you? Yeah, I, think so. I just pretend like I didn't tell you. <laughs> I don't want to have like a full session on it. I literally just want to like board slide or feeble or some shit. The thing is, there's not that much run up at this spot. I might have to angle the rail down a little bit since I'm not going to have that much speed, you know? It's just going to be like one little push and hop yeah, on the rail. I but thankfully, that. you know, the transformer rail is versatile and it yeah. can do all that, you know? Yeah, Gang shit. Shout think, out transformer rails, bro. I think it's gotta be safe. Woo! Fuck being safe, bro. So I don't use a condom. So we headed out to LA, but before going to the spot, I needed to buy some wax because I was not about to let a sticky ass rail be the death of me. But for some reason, all the candles they had were inside glass, which wasn't really going to work. Should I just like get one of these and break it out of the glass? Oh, perfect. Jig. Hey, only real ones used to use this shit. My old videos on my channel, I used to do flat bar verses where I would use like shit that wasn't wax as wax. Like butter, peanut butter, fuck. I used shoe goo. My old videos used to hit different. I never thought buying one fucking candle would be so hard. This is a whack ass target, bro. That's why Walmart's on top. Jig. How the fuck do they have buff guy drink markers, but not a fucking single candle that's not in glass? I'm gonna be leaving a very negative Yelp review. <clears throat> just so they know, I'm gonna be speaking to corporate when I get home. I ended up just buying a pack of like 100 candles because it was the only other option, but somehow it ended up being cheaper than any of the glass ones. All right, so we just made it to the platform here in downtown LA. The thing that fucking sucks the most is that there's two busy ass streets going both ways and cops pass by here pretty often. And I gotta park around the corner, set the flat bar up over there and then bring the heavy ass fucking thing all the way over here. And that's exactly what we did. But when I started setting up the flat bar, I noticed that the car parked behind me had a parking ticket. And since I was parked in the red, I may or may not have borrowed their parking ticket to put on my car to keep cops from giving me a real one. And then we just went on about our mission as if nothing happened. But while I struggle to carry this heavy ass thing up the street, let me tell you guys a little bit about the sponsor of this video, which is Transformer Rails. Transformer Rails is the first ever flat bar to change into multiple different obstacles in literally seconds. When I was younger, I used to have a square rail, a ledge, and a circle rail, which took up a lot of space in my backyard. The Transformer Rail could switch between all three of those simply by loosening a bolt. It also has different height adjustments to choose from, but my favorite part about it is that it comes in eight feet and six feet which fits right in my car so i could take it literally anywhere definitely check them out in the description and use code black friday 21 on your purchases all month long
Okay, I did way more tricks than I thought I was gonna do. I thought I was just gonna come here and board side, maybe front board. It just sucks that I was only able to do like the last part of the rail, but I mean, fuck it. You guys see that there's no room at all. Some of those angles are fucking crazy. Shout out to Angel, bro. I appreciate you. Imagine dying because you got wheel bite. Bro, that shit was giving me mad anxiety. I know, that's what I'm saying. Holding my iPhone 13 Pro Max over this edge, like, fuck, bro, my hands are sweating. Oh my god. All right, guys, I know I said I was done, but hear me out for a second. Caveman board slided a jigger. Hey, how's it going? This is Derek. Um, do you guys still have the thing from yesterday evening that I had you guys put in the back for me? I have no idea what, what you're talking about. I didn't have my wallet on me, so I asked if you guys could put it in the back for me. What was it that you had put in the back? Oh, uh, it was the red one. Uh, I don't. Uh, what what item? I don't know red what. I don't know what you're. No, no, it about. was it was yesterday evening. It, it, it's and me, it Derek. Red, but I don't. What is it that they, that they put in the back for you? It was because it was the last one. It's it's the red one. I, I understand. But I, I still don't know what it is they put in the back for you. The one from yesterday. I, I don't know what was for yesterday. So you're going to have to tell me what it was. The red one from yesterday. It, it's me, Derek. I, I guess I'm not making myself clear. I need to find the person that put it in the back. But you're not telling me what it is that you're actually looking to, that you're that you was that was put in the back for you. So you need to tell me what it was. I don't remember the name of the person that put it. But no, yeah, yeah, it was the red the one. the name of the person. I need the name of... The item. It's because it was the like the last one, and I was there to get it, but I didn't have my wallet, so I just asked if you guys could put it in the back for 24 hours. But but what is, is it? A television? Is it a radio? Is it a washing machine? What is it that you're that they put in the back for you? It's the the little red one. I understand it's a little red one from yesterday, but little red what? I don't know what it was that they put in the back for you. Let me see if I have a picture of it. So I don't need a picture. I just need to know what. I mean, what is it that they put in the back for you? It's a, it's okay then. Someone they might have put it back on the shelf and someone else snagged but it. You're, yeah, I could. I might be able to find it if you would just tell me what it is that you're looking for. Other than that, it's red. I don't know what it is that you're looking for. It's me, Derek. No, I don't. That's not what I need to know. I need to know what it is that they put aside for you. It's all good. Thank you for your time. I appreciate okay. you. Holy shit, she had so much patience, bro. You know who does that? Seventeen Aven. He lives in like Texas or some shit. He just acts stupid like in person. He just keeps a straight ass face. I know. And the people keep going like that. Like they have so much patience. Go check out his fucking Instagram and his TikTok. I'll put his Instagram right here. That was fucking funny. He's next up for show. Sure. I'm trying to film with him, bro. <laughs> Tell him to come to Cali or I'll go to him. I heard they waiting on me to drop. So so much I had to. Was gone for a minute. I'm still on top. Ain't going nowhere like tattoo. The way that I'm living, they telling me stop. Fucking vibes. <laughs>